To grow. Tune in to Kids Radio and start your hands to clapping or tap your little toe. Tune in to Kids Radio and listen, we're ready to go. Hello, welcome to another Kids Radio show. Today I think I'll just sit here and play you some songs that I know you're going to enjoy. Yeah, hello, Miss Carolyn. Why, Mr. Invento, you're, you're all dressed up in a three-piece suit. What's the occasion? Well, it is all part of my new image. I have been taking disco dance lessons over at the Bunky Chicken School of Dancing. Now I am ready for my first real night out at a disco. There is a new disco that just opened called the Arithmetic Disco. So let's get going. Uh, uh, no, no, you don't mean... Oh, that I want you to be my dance partner, yes. Come on, it'll oh, be boy. loads of fun, come no, on. No, no, I've got to stay here and play loads of music for the kids' radio show. Oh, where we are going, there will be plenty of music, so what are you waiting for? Well, just for a little while, if you promise not to cause any kind of scene. Oh, oh I, I promise, I promise. This will be wunderbar. We'll return with more kids' radio show in a moment. Well, here we are at the arithmetic Disco. <laughs> it looks pretty crowded with people, Mr. Invento. Yeah, that is good. The more the merrier, I say. Hey, Grandpa, where do you think you're going? Are you fun of my grandchildren? Here, let me look at your face a little closer. It's rather dark in here. Uh, Mr. Invento, I don't think he's a relation of yours. He's too big. I think he's a bouncer. Really? Sir, what is it you bounce? If you don't pay the admission fee, Buster, I'm going to bounce you around a little. Oh, oh, yeah, I think I get the point. Uh, here, here's the money for our door fee. Uh, now, will you show us a table, yeah? Sure, you see that table across the disco over there? Yeah, way over there, yeah. I just showed it to you. You want me to show you some more? Uh, Mr. Invento, let's just go sit down. Yeah, good idea. Let's just get through these tables of people and find a place to sit. Oh, look up on the ceiling at all the pretty lights flashing on and off. Mr. Invento, watch where you're walking. Oh, 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 no. oh. Oh, oh, what happened? Where am I? You knocked over a waitress. Come on, let's just sit here and try to not to cause any commotion. There is water all over my new zoot. Welcome, everybody, to the arithmetic Disco. I'm John Revolting, your disco DJ for the evening. Let's start out the evening with a favorite called the Number Rock. We will zip this one out. I don't know how to dance to it. While it is playing, I will go make a request to the DJ. Sixteen, seven. 
<laughs> my feet are sore. How can your feet be sore? You haven't even danced yet. Everyone began dancing around me when I went to make my request to the DJ. And they stepped all over my feet. Oh, oh. no. What did the DJ tell you? He will play my request next. So get your fingers ready to dance, Miss Carolyn. My fingers ready to dance? What do you mean? It is a little number I learned in my dance class called the square finger. Hey, listen up, everyone. We've had a request, and a rather strange one at that, for a number called square finger. So get those hands all limbered up. Your left hand can dance with your right hand, or your hand can dance with your partner's hand. You may want to take off any rings or bracelets on your hands so you won't have an unfortunate accident by getting entangled with another hand. So let's see those darling digits do some quick stepping to the square finger. Oh, this is where I really get to show my stuff. Finger dancing? Finger dancing? I don't believe this. Hmm, your fingers look a little out of shape, Miss Carolyn. When was the last time you danced with them, huh? Get your fingers ready for a square dance. One of you can use two fingers of each hand. Or more of you can each use two fingers of one hand. <laughs> Okay, fingers, start by bowing to the opposite set of fingers. Lady fingers, jump up high. Man fingers, now you try. Sliding on their fingernails. Okay, fingers, take a ride. Now we're dancing on this side. Your finger is slick and smart, nor let them swing a finger partner. Fingers will do what you want them to because they're so attached to you. And now we're going to spin a little number that goes back into history. It's called the Ball and Jack. Ah, that was great. Look at my little fingers sweat. What a workout, huh? Hmm, from the looks that other people are giving us at this table, I'm not so sure everyone enjoyed it as much as you did. Oh, that is because they have not been going to the dance school like me, and they are not familiar with all these new dances. Right, <laughs> right. Why don't you tell me a little more about this dance school that you've been going to? 
sounds a little fishy to me. Yeah, that was another dance they taught me how to do, the little fishy. You know how to dance a little fishy? How much? Just flip your fins a little and move your mouth like you're breathing under the water, no, you know? No, I mean, how much did the funky chicken dance school charge you for those lessons? Oh, not so much. I just signed a piece of paper for a lifetime membership. What? Mr. Inventor, that's going to cost you a lot of money for a long time. Oh, no, no, no. They gave me a big discount just for signing a lifetime membership. Hey, shall we dance to this number playing right oh, now? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Oh, fantastic. I used to do this when I was a very young boy. Are you sure you didn't force that DJ to play this? What? Of course not. He is just a good judge of music. Come on, Miss Carolyn. Let's get our tootsies on the floor. Our what? Tootsies. With style and grace, put your right foot out and slide it back. And that's what we call ball of the jack. That was marvelous. I really worked up a sweat on that one. Oh, maybe so, but uh, you're the only one clapping. Oh, uh, Miss Carolyn, would you like to have a soft drink or some water while we are waiting on the next dance? Huh? Oh, I'd like to have something, but I don't see a waitress around anywhere at the moment. That is okay. I will just get the attention of the large bouncing man we talked with at the door earlier. Hey, big bouncing man. Come here. Mr. Invento, that's the bouncer, and he doesn't wait on tables. Oh, here he comes. Were you talking to me? Yeah, we want two Cokes at this table. Be a good bouncing man and bounce over to get them, would you? You want them put right here on this table? Well, of course. But if there wasn't a table here, then you wouldn't want any Cokes put there, right? Well, I suppose not, but there is a table here. Oh, oh. I just solved your problem. Now you don't have a table. Mr. Invento, I'm not really very thirsty after all. Did you see that? He smashed our table to little pieces. He's a very cranky person for someone who is supposed to be bouncing. And now we have a spotlight dance coming up. The couple we have chosen to dance while we watch is sitting over at the smashed table. He means us, Mr. Invento. Are you sure you didn't influence this DJ? But a nice honor. Let's get into the spotlight and do the soft shoe and maybe some tap dancing too. What? Tap dancing? Mr. Invento and his lovely partner will do the soft shoe and tap out some answers for us at the same time. Take it away. Can you tap out the answer just like a dancer doing a Broadway show? Check out the facts, then add and subtract, then show us what you know. Three plus two is five minus three.
plus three is nine minus three is Can you tap out the answer just like a dancer doing a Broadway show? Check out the facts then add and subtract and show us what you know. We'll return with more Kids Radio after this. Well, I must admit I've never done a soft shoe dance where I tapped out the answers to math problems with my feet. I began to feel like a trained horse out there. Are you sure you didn't have the disco DJ pick us for that? <gasps> Miss Kierlin, I am surprised that you would think that I would do such a thing. Why do you keep suspecting me, huh? Uh, because the DJ is coming over here to talk with you right now. Well, Mr. Invento, I played all the songs that you told me to, so I'm ready to talk about my new job as manager of your disco, like you promised me earlier. What? Who did he tell you he was? He told me he was the owner of the giant new disco in town and that he would make me the manager of it if I would play the right kind of music here in the arithmetic disco tonight. Mr. Invento, you didn't. Well, I... Uh... I suggest that you play what you're supposed to play so you won't get into trouble. He doesn't own a disco. Well, thanks for telling me. As for you, Mr. Invento, I better see you get out there and dance with everyone. You've made them dance to what you wanted, so now it's your turn. I agree. Come on, let's get on the dance floor, Mr. Invento. Now, wait a minute. I I'm, I'm no dancing machine. Let's all get up for this one, everybody. I want to see everyone on the floor and make your bodies into dancing machines. Oh, no, no. Broken machine. No, oh, no, poor machine. 
Please help me into my chair. What's the matter, Mr. Invento? How come you're bending backwards like that? You look like a slinky spring that's all sprung out of joint. Oh, that is a good description of how I feel. Oh, I have thrown my back out on that last dancing. I can't straighten up. I can only bend backwards like this. What am I going to do? Oh, it looks like all you're going to be able to do is stare up at the ceiling the rest of the evening if you're all bent out of shape like this. And now it's time to win our big, big door prize here at the Arithmetic Disco. All you have to do is be able to get under the limbo bar. We'll keep lowering the bar until we have a winner. So the question is, how long can you go? Get ready for the disco limbo and win the big prize. Oh, let's do it, Mr. Invento. What? With my back like this, I can barely walk. Oh, but at least you're bending backwards. I'll guide you each time it's your turn towards the limbo bar. Which way is the limbo bar? I can only look straight up at the ceiling while I walk. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Where did the ceiling go? Oh, you walked right under a table, Mr. Invento. Looks like you're going to be a natural at the limbo. All right. Everybody disco limbo. Am I under the bar? Yeah, oh. go on, go on. Oh. Is it time to go under again? You're going the wrong way. Turn around this way. Where did everyone go? Oh, Mr. Invento. I made it under again. Yes, it is. Wow. Right. All right. Do the disco limbo. Everybody take a turn. Do the disco limbo. Wow. Let's do the disco limbo. Come on and take a turn. Oh, 
caught my back again. And the winner is Mr. Invento. We'll return with the rest of Kids Radio after this. K-I-D-S, Kids Radio. Mr. Invento won the Disco Limbo Contest easily since he had thrown his back out. He went under the limbo bar just like a crab. Oh, and I almost forgot. The first prize he won was a lifetime membership at the Funky Chicken School of Dancing. ha, ha, ha. 